Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And if you're watching this, make sure you like and subscribe. Alrighty, so this one, um, we got a pretty decent haul for y'all. This is from Hi5 Retro Guys out in Oklahoma City, our favorite Funko Pop place out in Oklahoma. Um, we honestly go there way too much. I think when we went to visit my uncle that weekend, we went there, what, three times, four times? Definitely three times. Three times, yeah. So when we go for the whole weekend, we really do one a day trip. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are in the area in Oklahoma or the Texas area, make sure you check them out. Um, but all right, first things first. So first I have... Megan uh, Rapino, 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 Rapino. I want to say it's Rapino. Rapino, but I know. I don't know. Had to get her. I mean, honestly, female empowerment, woman equality, all of that, just everything she stands for. Um, her and the women's U.S. soccer team have done tremendous things um, for woman equality in sports. So had to get her for sure. Nonetheless, she is a great women's soccer player. Mm. Just yeah, you left that out, but oh, yeah, definitely sorry. a good women's soccer player at that. But yes, continue. Then I got, um, had to get Lil Sweet from the Dr. Pepper commercials. This is just has a little bit of sentimental value to me. Uh, my dad just constantly makes fun of the commercials. Um, so, yeah, I just had to get this one. Just a little nostalgia for that. So you could have gifted this to him then? No, it's mine. It's the sweet one. <laughs> then I had to get Jackie Robinson. Um, honestly, I've seen this pop a lot, and I've honestly got him so many times. But when we were there, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. And Black History Month. Definitely, he did great things for baseball. Um, had to get him. Definitely, monumental player in baseball. Jackie. All right. Then I had to get Batwoman here. Honestly, one of the best superheroes in DC. Don't look at me like that. I knew you were gonna look. That's why I looked at him. I had to get Batwoman. I mean, just look how cool she looks. Look at that. Black and red does look cool. Mm -hmm. She has a nice fit. Yeah, I know does it she does. Have a bat wing or batter ring in her hair. Battering. Yeah, battering, yeah, that's cool. Then I had to get Joker. This is the Heath Ledger Joker from the Dark Knight trilogy. I mean, had to get him. Honestly, Heath Ledger Joker is the best Joker by far. Um, in the in-person live movies, the other best Joker is Mark Hamill in the animated series. Like, he is just absolutely insane, Mark Hamill. But rest in peace, Heath Ledger, fantastic actor. I mean, he did Joker just, ugh. Chef's kiss. Yeah, so he really great. Did. He did. I definitely need to go back and watch the animated series of all the shows, DC shows, for mm -hmm. sure, because they're really good. The animated yeah. DC shows and movies are way better than the live action ones. Yeah, but but I hopefully, digress. James Gunn, that new guy, James, yeah, James Gunn, Gunn, hopefully, he gives us some good stuff because DC is on the decline. Absolutely. Don't really like it. Then I had to get my favorite Disney princess, Mulan. It is the Diamond series, so she's all glittery and exclusive, but had to get her whenever she's all makeup out for the matchmaker, which for those who watch the Mulan movie knows it goes downhill um, when she sees the matchmaker um, just because of the cricket, but definitely favorite princess, had to get her. And then for Star Wars, I had to get Cad Bane um, from Bad Batch and Rebels, uh, or Clone Wars. Bad Batch. Yeah, Bad, Bad Batch. Batch. That's all right. That's all right. And then um, Ben Kenobi had to get him in the older movies, the original trilogies. Had to get him with. It was really your uncle's idea. It was my uncle's idea. He Thank, shout you out to, to my buy uncle. That. He did. He really did. We just have so many other Obi Wans, you but, him. you know, had to get these for our Star Wars collection. Yes. And Cad Bane cannot find anywhere. Can't find Cad Bane anywhere in any type of comic book store online for a good price. But we found him today. We found him when we got him. So this is good. Honestly, besides Boba Fett, Cad Bane is probably my favorite bounty hunter out there. Yeah. Then I had to get Agatha from WandaVision. I honestly cannot wait for her series to drop on Disney+. Plus. Like, it's going to be so great. Um, she did a fantastic job with it. I mean, the witch, the darkness, just uh, everything. I uh, love her. I'm not excited for that show at all. Yeah. Then I had to get Rocket. Um, he's actually flocked, which those who have watched their videos knows that I'm obsessed with the flocked Funko Pops. But he's fuzzy. He's cute. I mean, he just look how cute. But he's also bad as well. He's a good um, guardian of Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sad that Guardians of the Galaxy is ending after this year. Or next year? It's going out this year, right? This year. Yeah. I'm sad it's ending after this year. Um, but Rocket, Groot, Drax, all of them, just uh, so great. Did you hear about the rumor for the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie? No. Oh. What's the rumor? Oh, is, uh, oh, I you're won't not gonna tell spoil you. it. Oh, gonna okay. Spoil it. <laughs> You'll see when it happens. Oh, okay. If it happens. If it happens. Yeah. Then I had to get the Princess Bride collection. So, <laughs> funny story. 
Um, I already had the Wesley, um, which in our previous video, I got at the Funko Pop headquarters. But when we were at High Five, I was just walking around waiting for him to finish because he had a whole laundry basket full of Funko Pops. And one of the workers was putting new Funko Pops out and I actually saw the um, edge of when she was carrying like a whole stack. And I knew she had Princess Buttercup. So I literally like was walking around following her, but not following her while she was putting Funko Pops out so I could get Princess Buttercup. And once I saw it, I also saw she had Wesley too. And so I was hoping she had Inigo Montoya. And so I literally followed her around for a good, probably what, 10, 15 minutes while she was putting Funko Pops out. I wasn't with you. I was doing my own thing. I know. But I told you I followed her. Now, doesn't that story sound so creepy? <laughs> I was just following her around, just waiting for her to put, it, put up the Funko Pop. Like what? Because she had this like giant box that was just like, I mean, it was a huge, like it was a box probably about this high this wide of just nothing but Funko Pops. And she said that the main guy, um, he bought movies, like a whole like movie collection. So, I mean, it was Funko Pops from a whole bunch of different types of movies, but I followed her around. I waited. I wasn't like creepy and like creeping around the corner. I just would go to another room, wait a couple seconds and then go like around to where she was putting Funko Pops up. So it's not as creepy as it sounds. Uh -huh. Okay. But I, guess that makes I got Inigo Montoya. They also had Physique too, but Physique was a little out of my price range. So did not get Physique. But one day I will. Um, and then my Princess Bride collection will be complete. And then save the best for last. This was honestly, I didn't have this much. And then I was kind of just on my phone walking around and I looked down and I saw all of these at the bottom shelf. But the reason for this haul had to get the Sanderson sisters and uh, Billy Butcherson. Hocus Pocus is probably my favorite Halloween movie um, by far. Loved it. Loved the sequel. And what I love most about these is so they made a couple different collections of them together and separate. Um, the other separate ones, they are on their brooms. But what I like about these is they have like their own little trinkets to them. So you have Winnie here with her little powers where she shocks people with her little powers and then you have mary with her little cheese bus and the tv remote because she's over here always snacking and then you have sarah with a little spider on her hand just because she's just quirky and then how to get billy like honestly look at him with a little zombified face in his mouth like honestly billy was one of my favorite characters now i just have to get thackeray binks and hocus pocus will be complete now did you say favorite halloween movie Yes. Like, of all time or Disney? Uh, Probably Disney. Okay, okay. I'll say that. Disney. Well, my favorite like, Disney so Halloween, Halloween movie. There's so many Halloween movies out there, and you chose Hocus Pocus. But that makes sense. But that wasn't your last one. I think you forgot about one, so let me grab it for you. Oh, I forgot about one? Yeah. The best one. Remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about that Definitely one. Forgot I don't about know how I forgot this about that This bad boy one. right here. Captain Color. I'll let you take it away. Go ahead. All right, so Scooby-Doo was my favorite cartoon growing up, still is. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I was Scooby-Doo for Halloween, yes. Um, my lunchbox was Scooby-Doo in kindergarten. My backpack was Scooby-Doo. I had a body pillow um, that was Scooby-Doo. Uh, just been obsessed with Scooby. Captain Cutler was one of my favorite villains. Um, so Creeper and Captain Cutler are my favorite. And I've been waiting for this Captain Cutler for a long time. I've been looking at Macari, offer up all of them, trying to find one um, for a good price. And when I was at High Five, literally as soon as I walked in and saw their glass case, there he was all perfect in behind the case. And I almost didn't get him. I didn't. Our first trip there, I was like, no, I can't get him. Second trip came, it was still there. No, nope, couldn't get him. And then our third trip there, he was still there. And I was like, okay, I need to get him. So I pulled the plug and got Captain Cutler. He's glow in the dark too. Um, we got a little fancy um, pop case for him too. So I can't believe I forgot about this one. I'm a little upset with myself, yes. but yeah, had to get him. Like he is going on my bedside table and this is like my prized possession. Cause that's the most you spent on a single Funko, right? Yeah, my, by myself. Yeah, he was 95, I think. Yeah, he was 95. He originally retails for like, I think like 160, or not retails, but PPG. PPG. Yeah, yeah, 160, 180. So yeah, he was steel. He was a good steel of the week. It hurts yes. my soul knowing I paid that much for a Funko Pop, but I just had to have it's this. Is, sooner or later. This is one of my grails. This is honestly one of my grails and he... Yeah, you got it. So. Oh, 
thank you for following along on our journey. Um, we'll post more hauls soon as we are always buying Funko Pops. We've got pre-orders coming in, unboxing coming in. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see my Funko haul from High Five Retro, please like the video or even comment. So if you want to see it, just let me know. He won't post it regardless. Peace. I can't believe I forgot about...